is it, fans. This is what it all comes down to here on ICW Championship Wrestling this week. The Heartbreakers and Miss Carla against the Pretty Young Things, me, Mark Ash, and Jason Garrett with Miss Candy Kane. Oh. And all the action is Sorry, broken loose already. Before the bell even sounds, the Heartbreakers attack the Pretty Young Things from behind. And we're working on me, Mark Ash, double team in the corner, Jason Garrett. And what is Miss Carla doing? Oh my goodness, Miss Carla getting involved in the action on the other side of the ring. And they're just working over a mean Mark Ash in the corner here. What's going on? Look out! Oh my Double God! Double the right off the feet. Back to bed, double out of whip. I expect to see a very high, fast pace. Oh, good job, man, do that! I tell you what, this is not a, a title match here this week, but if it was, the Heartbreakers would be running scared. And I'd like to see a little upset right here. I'd like to see the Heartbreakers get beat right in the middle of the ring, get a little bit of their own medicine. They just run and cheat. They do be a mad dog dirty every way they can. And I want to see a little bit of a payback come back to them tonight. Well, they're pumped and ready for action right here this week. The Heartbreakers kind of slowing down the action a little bit here. Trying to get off their ring attire. It looks like Scotty McKeever might start this match. I want McKeever. Well, me and Mark Ash leaning out here at ringside saying, I want McKeever. Well, the Heartbreakers and a pretty young thing. Well, the two men that are going to start it off. Started off legally, that is. Mean Mark Ash and Scotty McKeever. Call it time to walk up. Why didn't go sign him out of Mark Ash? Get over to that. Referee for this match is referee James McComb. Makes a two count there on the shoulders of McKeever, but he was managed to get him up, rolls him up. Keeper on the mat now in that headlock of Mean Mark Ash. Okay, well, so this whole right here will stop that blood flow to that brain. And if it's on you too long, you get real lightheaded. That'll slow you down, definitely. Back you up. Yeah. Oh! That's called rope crossover. Keeper's a big leap. Oh, oh my gosh, what right was to, that? Right to the midsection. Give it a high, beautiful spit under takedown right on inside our bar. And the Keever now he needs to turn into Mark Ash, take a little bit of pressure off that elbow, then he can amount an offense. I bet you have advised the pretty young things a little bit in the dressing room before the show today. Yeah, you better believe it. I'm sure your partner, Mad Dog, is looking on too. Oh, oh you missed that elbow. elbow smash. That is going to take down. My goodness, what action, what action this week here on ICW. McKeever making a comeback and he tags in Scott Scotty Brad Hot Body. Five hit with the takedown, takes Brad right over. Well, and then it's our first look at Jason Jarrett in this match. Puts him in. Oh. Oh, double elbow smash. I thought the tech was reach with Scotty Hot Body. Well, Scotty Hot Body. Duck the close line. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hot Body kicks out. What are they doing? They go in. Oh, he gets Hot up Body up for a body slam. Here it comes. Power slam. Power slam. Takes him down to the mat. One, two, and McKeever in for the save. Hey, what? McKeever in for the save. Bradley rakes the eyes. Over. Over. Like, oh, misses oh. that leg drop. That'll jam your spine right through your skull. Takes the whip into the turnbuckle. And in with a spinning heel kick right in the corner. And tags in mean Mark Ash. And he's going up to the top. Hot body down. He comes across. Oh, axe handle blow right to the back of the head of Scotty Hot Body. Oh, a knee right to the midsection. The lower midsection, I might add, and Hotbody with the advantage once again. There, 
And he tags in McKeever. Oh, McKeever comes in, but not the way he wanted to come in, with an arm drag. Attention. How Mark Ash goes right back to that same hole, trying to wear down the arm. It's a good uh, basic strategic strategy that made famous by the Anderson brothers. You get one part of the body and keep working on it, wearing it down and wearing it down until you finally beat your opponent. Well, that's what to do. You stay with that hole, stay with it. Oh! Chop to the chest, whip him across into the turnbuckle. Oh! Roll a crotch you only got about a one and a half count out of that, look like. I'll tell you what, blaming you. At the beginning of the match, Scotty McKeever leaned over here and said that he's the one that fulfills fantasies around here in ICW, but this may cut into his fantasy fulfilling for a while. Mark Ashley, I've got a full dragon twist on him. And this right here puts pressure on four different parts of the arm. A very excruciating, very painful hole. Oh, and Miss Carla, tripping. Oh. Mark Ash, if he comes off the rope. That was one when she stick her nose in this match. She put her nose in my match several times. Well, that gives you the quick advantage, but can he stick with it now? Scotty Hotbody tagged back in. I'll tell you one thing, the heartbreak is going to take 20 punches just to get that one in. And when they get that one in, they'll take it to you and they'll stay on you like you wouldn't believe. Exactly right. Right into a reverse chin lock. The referee needs to check, make sure it's not a choke hole, make sure it's around the chin, not around the throat. Well, the receiver came in. I don't believe there was a tag there, was there? No, that's the only way they can win back to start cheap and break it every little they can. Now you keep looking over here, I'll slap your head off, boy. McKeever, looking out here saying, what do we think now? Well, I'll tell you what I think. I think this is a very, very closely matched contest here. Neither team given an inch. And if there's going to be a winner in this match, it's going to be a true winner. I don't think this one will be able to go the whole time limit. Yeah, well, it depends on if this car to stick that nose in for it. Well, she does have some opposition here today. Standing over here beside her is Miss Candy Kane. Yeah, beautiful young girl. I think she might be able to handle this car if it got down to it. I haven't seen her interject herself in any action, but I think she would if she had to. Yeah. Set him up for a high vertical speed play. And he's going to be right in the light, too, I believe. Oh, there goes the disco ball, and there goes Mark Ash. Getting right back into that reverse chin line. Looks like a heartbreaking strategy to try to wear the man's head down, stop a little bit of blow to that brain. Referee James McCone got on top of the action, asking Mark Ash if he gives. Jason Jarrett trying to come in. This gives off the referee on the hard way to stop to the seat and referee's back is cold. Tell you what, that hole right there, that'll mess up a hand. Tell you what. There was no tag there. Hot body back in, and he's just yanking. He's trying to hyperextend that knee, I believe. That tags in the fever. Keeper back in with a knee right on Mark Ash's knee. Oh, oh. he takes that knee and drives it into the mat. So you got to watch out for a knee injury. They do not heal. You just ask Steve. We'll tell you, those knees do not heal. What's what McKeever over, doing here? He's going for the figure four. There you go, figure four, bro. He's got to lock in tight, and he's got some extra leverage over there across the ring. Right, we have to see. That's the one that's going to win. Jason Jarrett interjecting himself again. And they, are they going to switch off again? Oh, and he just got his foot right across the throat of Mark Ash. What is this? Big oh, breaker. Big, big 
breaker. What a neck breaker there. Well, Look that Mark Ash, right we'll get close to the rope. Single leg pickup, right into a back leg trip, takes the man right back down to the canvas. Just because the Vash doesn't tag out, he's going to be in a world of trouble. Well, there we go again. Referee James McCone distracted once again. Keeper right back to the Keeper switches off in. Back to the biggest arm. And they're really going to do some damage to that knee. Mark Ash going to have to keep them shoulders up. He's going to have a chance to get countered out here. Look at that added leverage by the hot body over there in the corner. And again, Jared, if he's going to come to the ring, he needs to turn on and unload on somebody. Exactly. In the referee's face, the referee can't watch both teams. Well, this is a, this is a very, very intense match. And I, maybe they're not thinking like they should be thinking. But these guys are wanting to get in line and be the number one contenders for those ICW Tag Team Championships. And Candy Kane right here at ringside grimaces in pain just about every time the blow is dealt. And there's Miss Carla interjecting herself again. Look to the rope. Big in the midsection. Heartbreaker, Scotty McKeever tagged in. Oh, and a right hand right to the short rib there. They're going to use that five count for these other teams. Crashing right hand blows right to the side of the head of Mark Ash. He's got him draped across those ropes from the turnbuckle. And, oh, what a chop. These boys look, these look real weak. Reversal, listen into the turnbuckle, comes out big oh, back right. Jason Jarrett yelling for Mark Ash to make the tag. He's tag hot body. He's coming in. Cuts him off. off. Setting him up, what's he gonna do? Oh, good inside block by Marcus. Good inside block. Can't get him up. Reversal. Oh, oh first 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 now, if he can just float up over that body in lateral press, he might have a chance to pin it hot body right now. You're exactly right there, you. And Jason Jack, once again, coming in. He shouldn't do this. He shouldn't come in like that. What's the keeper doing? Oh. That bottom rope's a little extra hot when that drop, that leg drop. Only a two count. Mark Ash not beaten yet. Well, he's still got a little bit of fight left, did he? Keeper takes Mark Ash, this in the rope, off with a big elbow, takes him down to the mat. Keeper off the rope, comes up, oh, oh. that's another elbow. Only a two count, though. Not enough to take a victory over the pretty young thing yet. Jim Keever holds him up. Using that five count, he gets to make a double team. Again, Candy Kane right here looking very worried about her team right now. Well, I tell you what, the Heartbreakers have really been taking it to the pretty young thing. Mark Ash been in the duration of the match just about. I'll tell you one thing, that little Scotty Hot Body, pound for pound, he drops the hardest elbow smash I've ever felt in my life. Referee James McCone about to get caught in the action there. I don't press, but he did not hook the leg. Watch out here. Rolling cross ride. We got a one, two. Oh, oh just about hit a three almost. right there. Almost. Hot body better watch yourself and stop arguing with the referee. Pay attention to the action. Slams Mark Ash's head into the turnbuckle, driving those shoulders in to the midsection. Hot body takes him, whips into the turnbuckle. Here he comes. Oh! Oh, he moves. Oh, he finally Mitchell made the hot tag. And Jason Jarrett makes his way to the ring. And he's a house of fire right here. Takes hot body. Hot hip, hip toss. McKinney comes in. Hip toss for him. Big body slam on Scotty Hot Body, and one for McKee, and he is on a roll right here. He takes the legal man, which is Scotty Hot Body, puts him into the rope, comes off, uh, press, press slam. Uh, oh, oh, 
Oh, and Verdell, he right across that lumbar region in the back. And that'll take him down. That'll this take your leg right out from under. Oh, they throw Jason Jarrett to the outside of the ring. It's going to give him ample opportunity to double team Mark Ash. Here he comes. What? Duck the double clothesline. And Candy Kane holds the leg. Of I'm on him. One, two, three. And it's over. And the what pretty runs that we just see tonight. And one over the Heartbreakers. And Miss Carla can't believe her eyes. And what's going on? The winner of the match, a pretty young thing with a little assistance from Candy Kane to even the score. Yeah. Yeah. Scotty McKeever complaining to referee James McCone right here of the trip by Candy Kane, but he didn't see it, so he can't call it. The Heartbreakers calls out a defeat right here at the hands of the pretty young things and fans. What a main event match we have just seen here, and I'm sure this will not be the end of this feud between the Heartbreakers and the Pretty Young Thing. The three count, and once again, ladies and gentlemen, your winners, the Pretty Young Thing. Well, fans, that's going to wrap it up for this week right here on ICW Championship Wrestling. Hang in there, and we'll see you once again at the matches. So long for now. From my friend, the Flaming Youth, this is Ralph Harkey saying goodbye.